In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for the next few days. We're also going to discuss why the today's price action occurred, why the massive sell-off happened to begin with, how you could have made money on it. And I'm going to be doing an update on some of the stocks that I've mentioned in the last video, right? So let's let's dive right into it, right off the bat. We got the spy over here. And in the last video, I gave you guys specific warning. I gave you all a very, very specific warning about, about the market being uh, near turbulence. All right. Yesterday's video, I told you that we were going to creep up a little bit higher before we see a sell off, specifically QQQ, because of this structure right here. All right. We were right over here before cpi was announced and i told you guys that the stock market was going to end up a little bit higher all right in year 372 we might see some type of turbulence and turbulence is what happened as soon as we got to 372 everything started to sell off all right it doesn't surprise me at all i was patiently waiting for that specific um move for the for the for the bears to pretty much pile in and cause this drop right here it was not i'm not gonna say it was obvious i'm just saying it it was it was bound to happen uh it was bound to happen and looking at the one hour looking at the one hour it's near these levels of resistance right over here right there's some short sellers right here or i would say people who bought who did bought here and they bought here were expecting a bigger move as soon as they had a second chance to break even, they took that chance and again, everybody sold and that caused a sell off. All right. Now, how could you have made some money on this one? There was a, there was a structure on, on the spy. Let's check out the spy. QQQ is a little bit sloppy intraday. Like the structure isn't really there, but for the spy, it kind of was all right first we have the cpi report that was announced and apparently i think the numbers were exactly what was expected at is i think i think the cpi number was still at 3.7 percent and then we had a little bit of a sell-off again at 7 30 and then some chop all the way until massive candle at noonish all right but before that even happened we had a bear flag right here the bear flag is not my favorite. It's really, really not. Sometimes it plays out. Sometimes it doesn't. That's why it's not my favorite. But this one was there. And we took a day trade shorts on a stock that also dropped with the market. And that stock that we shorted is Google. All right. I saw, I saw Google at 11.56, four minutes before the drop. And I gave out a warning that I was watching it for a drop because of the structure on the chart. Again, if you are new to trading and you don't know what we do, we trade chart patterns and this is pretty much what I usually look for, all right? I saw it and as soon as I saw this thing forming out and I was waiting for the breakdown below 140, I took a short position on it right at noon. Again, here's the warning. And then right over here, where is it at? Yeah. So right at 12.02. I took these puts on there. The 140 puts at $80 per contract with a price target of 138, as you can see on the chart. It took a sweet time to get there. Um, I ended up selling some when we got below 139. And then I ended up getting out of it completely for $136 per contract. When it got to, again, near near 139. I ended up selling a little bit early, but that's, that's all right, though. Let's take a look at Google here. All right. So this is one structure with, with Google. This one is much, much easier to see. I trust it's a, little, a lot more than a bear flag. Um, I saw it. I got in right here. Put the circle here but i ended up selling early anyway some people held a lot more and made more money um i think this the the highest this contract went was 190 dollars per contract i sold at 135 and the contract went up to 190 
and then it bounces into the close, right? And again, this is just one structure. Another opportunity that you could have uh, made money on was on Meta. All right, and Meta showed the same thing. A very beautiful bearish pennant. Again, the other one is a descending triangle. This one is a bearish pennant because of because of how because of how high the um, the next lows are getting. All right. Um, when you compare the two st structures, there's a little bit of a difference. You, you would know. But yeah, same thing again. Breakdown again at noon, followed by the drop all the way down to 322. And then the similar structure again occurred on Netflix. Netflix occurred a little bit, like it dropped, it started dropping a little bit earlier. I saw it, I wanted to take it instead of, like if I would have taken this one, it would have just been the trade of the day because I only took one trade today, the Google trade. Um, I saw it, I just don't like trading Netflix because of the, because of how it tends to move and because of the spread of the contracts i think it's a bit annoying I, I saw google and google had much better spread but either way this one played out exactly how we would expect it to play out we had a breakdown right here and it dropped all the way down to 350 to 359 so these are like the three um easier obvious opportunities that y'all could have caught today all right and they all kind of dropped at the same time which makes it a lot more uh, it just makes it more simple makes the the day trade more simpler so that's pretty much why today's price action occurred there was news maybe there was news i don't know i didn't look at the news i should have looked at the news before i recorded the video i didn't look at the news i just traded the structure again that's what we do here all right now um the stock that we're i'm going to share with y'all to keep on watch for the next few days that stock is tesla and tesla tesla didn't really show something easy um it kind of zigzagged and then dropped and somebody could say yeah it kind of had something here but yeah i don't i don't like that it's just it's just not as it's just not my favorite compared to the other three that i showed you guys all right but it still dropped this one still dropped now the structure that i want to show you all with tesla is on the four hour and it hasn't broken down yet on the four hour it hasn't broken down yet but if it does tomorrow if it does like if, if the indices open like a, lo a little lower like as you can see at the top left right here if the indices end up being like negative 0.30% and then we start seeing a lot of sell-off. I think Tesla is going to sell off a lot more aggressively because the bear flag is there, which is the exact same structure that I just showed y'all with uh, with the SPY, but on a bigger scale, all right? Again, for those of you who are beginners, learn to recognize these things, all right? Because that's literally, these structures are the only things I trade. I don't look at the news. I don't look at anything else. I just look at the structures and I make my moves. I keep it simple. Today, I only took one day trade. The day before, I covered a swing trade. And then the day before that, I took another swing trade. It's just one trade throughout the last three days. So three trades, three days. Now with this one, watch test up for a drop to 250. If it breaks down, I think it's going to drop to 250. Maybe even like 246 seven yeah watch it for a drop in this region right here it has the stock has earnings on the 18 so it will be very interesting to see how it behaves maybe it plays a whole lot of games right here and then earnings is going to decide its fate but for this specific video i'm here to share with you guys the bear flag all right so um that's the stock for tomorrow. Now in updates, I, again, in the last video, in yesterday's video, I shared with you guys Li, the Chinese sector, all right? And here's how y'all should have handled it. This is Li. And in that video, I told y'all, that was a morning video, by the way. I specifically told you guys that there was an opportunity on there for longs, all right? To watch it for a move up to $37. And the opportunity for to capitalize off of the short sellers who were trapped down here was right there all right this move right here was the opportunity and as soon as the market opens it just started to fly 
all right those contracts i believe this contract only doubled i took a trade on again not least specifically but on the chinese sector in general and it was let me go back on here discord all right we're gonna scroll up to again this is between wednesday and between wednesday and thursday yeah so this is the 10th all right and at the close the reason why i like the chinese sector and i took i took food too specifically all right and because it had a bull flag on there that broke out and i liked it for a long with a price target of 77 dollars and lee and futu started to run at the open again i bought the contracts for 116 and i ended up selling some at 840 and i ended up getting out completely at 847 when the stock was rolling over right here let's go to futu the contracts that i sold let's go over here so futu all right here futu all right um i ended up selling right there and those contracts i put them in the yellow tab yeah so that's the details of the contracts right here again 116 that's the price that i bought them at and i ended up getting rid of them at 300 dollars per contract up here before this thing started to sell off right and at the close i decided to go back in because i was i thought it had i was a bit curious I thought it had a little bit more uh, potential, I would say, because the four hour was still was still decent and it was still holding above support. And I didn't like the way that it opened and I ended up getting rid of the next round of contracts that I bought at the close. I ended up getting rid of them right here because it didn't open the way I would like. I thought it would open up a little bit higher at like 64. It didn't have a similar move but it didn't i took a small loss of that one all right before taking a trade today on google so that was why everything pretty much collapsed again some of y'all mentioned jd collapsing and jd didn't really hold above the level of support again as soon as it cracked below that line everybody panicked and this was expected so um that's that's pretty much my thoughts on all of these stocks and why the market collapsed and that is the end of the video again do not forget to demolish the like button as always don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already um to be part of a private discord community we can get all of this information in real time as i see them along with the details of the contracts that i take and the reason why i take the trades to begin with you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below or the first comment pinned at the bottom all right um if you haven't followed us on social media yet you can find me at paul duma and at knowledge lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market there's some basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below step one to step three it only takes about 10 15 minutes for you to have all the tools you need to start trading immediately you can also get some free stocks after signing up with webull using the third link in the description of the video below once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguba, Open Analogy Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.